Biological fitness is a measure of relative reproductive success. In the AMR field, this is of interest to us because we'd like to know if antibiotic resistance affects biological fitness. We can measure this in different ways. One of the best ways is in vitro head-to-head -head competition with marked strains. Uh, this method uh, allows us to measure relative uh, fitness by the change in ratio of the strains as a function of the number of generations of growth. Uh, using this method, we can distinguish as small differences in relative fitness as 0.1% per generation. Now, <clears throat> we can also do this head-to-head -head competition in an in vivo infection model. Um, this has the advantage of the more complex uh, in vivo environment, but it also has several disadvantages, uh, ethical issues, increased cost, and also a large scatter in the data resulting. A third and very simple way of measuring relative fitness is simply to measure exponential growth rates. Uh, while this is simple, it doesn't measure the full growth cycle, and it also doesn't have uh, the same resolution as a head-to-head -head competition. But for large differences in fitness, it's often sufficient. Now, another aspect of relative biological fitness that's important to consider is that it can be composed of multiple components. For example, take a strain, a bacterial strain that sporulates. So in the presence of nutrition, it can be very important uh, to grow rapidly. But in the absence of nutrition, it can be also important to be able to survive and to successfully re-emerge from the sporulated state. And so in cases like this, to measure long-term biological fitness, it can be important to integrate data from multiple measurements in different environments. And that brings me on to the final point, which is that biological fitness depends partly on the genetics of the organism, but also on the environment in which you measure it. And AMR provides a very good example. Take an antibiotic resistant bacteria. It may have a relatively low fitness in a drug free environment because the resistance mechanism might affect cell physiology. But in a drug containing environment, it will have a higher fitness than the susceptible wild type strain because the wild type is being suppressed in growth by the antibiotic. So in summary, biological fitness depends on uh, genetic aspects of the strains, but also on the environment in which we measure the fitness.